All right, guys, even here, and in this video, we're gonna watch Pittsburgh Pro 2019, but not the competition itself, but only the guest posing. I don't know why, but every year at the Pittsburgh Pro, all the top pros, almost all of them, show up and do a little guest posing, and it's very much fun. So let's take a look at William Bonek, and he is looking shredded. He's known for his conditioning, and he's bringing it even in the offseason, but Dexter, though, he's not cold blade for no reason. Dexter is looking super sharp, and if this was the competition, he would win it. Broly, Broly is always in this kind of shape when he's guest posing, nothing new here. Brandon, though. Brandon is looking awesome. He's in very good shape, very, very good condition for the offseason. But I really like Dexter. Dexter is looking improved from 2018, and if this was the show, he would win it. But look at Sean Roden. He got fat. Look at those love handles. Look at those glutes. Or should I call it, look at his fat ass. He did gain a lot of fat, that's for sure. But he knows his business. He knows his game. And uh, every time Mr. Olympia comes, he's one of the most conditioned guys. In 2018, he was by far the most conditioned one. And as far as I know, he actually started training recently, maybe a few weeks ago. So he's in good shape considering that. And I am sure that by the time the Mr. Olympia comes, he will be one of the most, if not the most conditioned guy on the stage. But as far as I can see right now, I see Daxter looking amazing. If this was the competition, as I already said, Daxter would win it. He is looking the most 3D, he is in the best shape, and he is looking so good. I mean, he improved in 2018. He looks much better, and he looks the most impressed from all of these guys here. Maybe he's training the most seriously. Anyways, uh, let's now take a look at individual posing routines of these guys. So let's start with Brandon Curry. And as you can see, he's in really good shape. I mean, you can see visible abs. You can see great separation in his arms, shoulders, chest. And uh, let's take a look at his legs. I think his legs got a little bit bigger. Maybe he trained them harder. I don't know what he's doing in this offseason. But it does look like he's training hard. Because he's looking really good. I mean, some of these guys stop training after the Mr. Olympia and they get a little bit softer and watery, but I don't think that's the case with Brandon. I'm pretty sure that he's in deep training and in deep cycles as well, because he looks amazing. Um, especially his legs, compared to what they were before, they look good. They look big, his legs, but I'm curious how do they look from behind. I hope this camera angle goes down, but maybe not. I guess they don't want to show it, probably it's not looking that good. I don't know, but his back is looking good. Okay, now you can see it. Well, his glutes could be a bit, a bit bigger. Um, I don't know if he can do it until the Mr. Olympia time, but as far as conditioning for the off-season, he looks amazing. And he always shows an amazing wee taper, even in the off-season. So, very, very good Brandon Curry. And I hope he's going to do great at the Mr. Olympia, but I'm pretty sure he's going to make a jump, at least one spot. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, from what I can see right now, he is looking amazing. Really, really good Brandon Curry. So, let's take a look at our next competitor. Or, not competitor, but the guest poser. And that would be William Bonek. So, let's take a look at the William. And William is one of the guys who is known for great conditioning. Pretty much every time he competes. He never really comes off. And he can say the same for the off-season. Because he's looking ready. He looks like he's one week out or two weeks out he just needs to lose all this water and he can do it basically in a few days and he would be in better shape than most guys in bodybuilding competitions in the world maybe not at the mr olympia but considering all the competitions in the world he is looking really really shredded for the off season and he is known for eating only four meals a day i don't know if that's true but everybody keeps saying that and he has a lot of muscle, more muscle than he needs. So he doesn't really have to push the envelope too hard and, you know, eat a lot of food because he doesn't really need to gain a lot of mass. So it's probably easy for him to maintain a low body fat percent and probably has a fast metabolism. And look at those lines in the lats. This is crazy for the off season, showing that kind of detail in the lat department. Wow, just wow. And his glutes are looking pretty much peeled. This most muscular pose looks amazing right now. Um, he did win the Most Muscular Bodybuilder Award at the 2019 Iron Classic after he placed second after Brandon Curry. Anyways, very, very good shape of Brandon Curry. I really like what I see. And I'm really looking forward to see him at the Mr. Olympia and see how he's going to do. Anyways, let's check out our next competitor or, again, guest poser. And yeah, that would be Dexter Jackson, so-called Blade. Or even better nickname for him would be Vampire. 
I mean, he is known for great conditioning, but he is now even more known for his age. He is turning 50 this year in November. So for a guy who is almost 50 years old, he is looking super crazy impressive. And he made improvements. Guys, from 2018, he made improvements. He looks better now. He looks so much fuller. And uh, his legs seem great. They look pretty much big. There is this little disbalance with his arms. His left arm is looking a little bit smaller than his right arm. But that was always the case. Maybe it's a little bit more obvious now as he's getting older. But still, look at this. Look at his back. Wow. In my opinion, if this was a show, if they competed like this in this shape, he would win it. Not only because of his conditioning. Maybe Bonek is more conditioned. Probably. But I don't know. Dexter just has that 3D muscle. He has that pop in his physique. Really, really amazing. But now let's take a look at the Rolly Winkler. And we've seen him pose so many times before in the offseason. And he always looks pretty much like this. Impressive. Big. Huge. He definitely is humongous. He's very much full. And uh, look at those arms, man. <laughs> Looking crazy. Very, very good shape. Very, very good shape. And I don't know. He looks like he has... Probably a month of dieting, but he can pull all this water and fat off in like two weeks and be ready for a show. Maybe not to win any kind of show, but in three weeks he will be ready for any show, pretty much. He can play third at the Mr. Olympia after three weeks from this. Probably he is known for that. He gets in shape very quickly. But he is looking huge. He's the biggest guy here by far, no doubt about that. His arms and his shoulders are looking freaky as hell. Just look at him. Look at his beast. I mean, no wonder his nickname is a Beast. He absolutely deserves that. And let's take a look at our last competitor or guest poser third time. <laughs> and that would be our current Mr. Olympia champion. Who would tell? <laughs> who would tell that this is our Mr. Olympia? He looks like a fat guy who doesn't even lift, pretty much. I mean, look at him. Look at his chest. There is nothing on him. Look at his arms, very, very disappointing. But hey, he is the Mr. Olympia. That did not happen by chance. He wasn't lucky. He knows his business. And he recently started training, so we can expect a huge transformation in the next couple of weeks or months. And I believe he's going to look great at the Mr. Olympia. But right now, he looks horrible. He looks funny. He looks like an average fat dude. <laughs> not literally, but he does look very disappointing. Nothing, nothing compared to these other guys. Much worse from all of them. I mean, compare him to Daxter, compare him to Bonek or anybody. He would be last place here by far. By far. There is pretty much no muscle. His stomach is looking fat as hell. <laughs> Anyways, this is it from this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. And if you want to see more bodybuilding content, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.